For today's quiz, we've got this large Van de Graaff generator. It's so big, it's almost a nuisance. And I have a discharge wand here. The way I turn this Van de Graaff on and off is I have it connected to a power strip in the back so I don't have to get near the switch that's on the machine. I'll show you how it works, and it's relatively safe. If you had heart condition, you might not want to come near this thing, but in general, even if you did get hit, you'd be okay. Let me turn this on. You could see that it's got quite an arc. The problem is, if I go away, it arcs to nearly everything. Let me shut off the lights and show you. I'll turn the machine back on, and you'll see it starts arcing over to our electrical outlet. You see what I mean? It can be a bit of a problem. I'll shut this off. But I want to introduce you to something that would take this seemingly harmless device. I mean, it hurts, but it is relatively harmless. And how do you make it where it's no longer harmless? Let me get that set up real quick. All right, this is a Leiden jar. And this innocuous looking uh, item makes a Van de Graaff nearly deadly. Now you're taking high voltage and building up charges. So what is a Leiden jar? Well, it's simply an inner piece of metal, aluminum, piece of plastic, which sometimes gets stuck on here, and another piece of aluminum. And you might be saying, how can this be such a problem? Well, let me take it near the Van de Graaff, and I have to uh, be very careful with my safety procedures to ensure that I don't accidentally get zapped with this, because this one is no joke. All right, let me get that set up. All right, I've moved the Van de Graaff generator over, and I've taken another Leiden jar and pushed it very close here. I've also taken off the green safety wire, and I have another wire that's connecting the inner part to ground. Now, that ground comes about because this metal apparatus is connected to the cold water pipe in the back of the room. Regardless, what I can now do is shut off the lights and turn on the Van de Graaff, and you'll see that this simple device builds and builds up charge, and when it discharges, it's rather scary. Let me get the lights. All right, let's turn it on. This is what's so dangerous about this. You'll notice that it didn't discharge at the end, which means that is a fully charged Leiden jar. Let me get a second wooden ruler, and notice these are really great insulators. I gotta take my glasses off of this, and let me see if I can pull this off without it discharging, okay? And that right there is absolutely charged and ready to strike. I can show you this by taking another one of these rulers, and I have a piece of wire, and it's bare wire. I certainly don't want to have to uh, assume that the wire inside is good. I can see if it were to break off, you would see it's broken off. But if there are plastic around here, the wire could be broken inside. But notice if I take these near, and I'll take that too close, and voila, it can hold charge. That's why these Leiden jars are dangerous. They can hold charge, and an unsuspecting victim can come along and accidentally touch them. Let's show you that again. Notice it'll build, it build, and build, and bam! Right? These are really, really, really crazy uh, electrical arcs. Let me let it discharge. Okay. It's frightening. What's happening here, let me see if I can discharge the Van de Graaff itself, and then I'll end up discharging the Leiden jar itself. There we go. So now it should be discharged. I'll take a second one of these in here, just to make sure. I'll drop the wire in with the alligator clip, and then I've got a big bolt on this end, and I can touch them. I'm going to move this out of the way. Let's describe how this is operating. 
you'll notice that the Van de Graaff, we'll say it's a negative Van de Graaff generator. The arcs are gonna jump across to the outside. Well, they're gonna end up pushing the electrons up through that wire, making the inside positive. Now, in order for it to arc, it's gonna to have to go around that big insulator. So, that's how a Van de Graaff essentially works. Plus, we have that dielectric in uh, the middle that can end up multiplying its value. But a real quiz starts with the other Leiden jar, which I'm going to take apart in a second here. So here I have the Leiden jar that can be deconstructed. You'll notice I can take the wire off. Everything is discharged at this point, and it comes apart just like this. And this is the tricky part. This one gets stuck a little bit. It's got three components to it. Our question for today is, if I were to charge this up, and while it's charged up, take it apart and lay it on the table just like I have here. Which, if any of these, could I touch? Here's what your quiz looks like today. As always, mark your answer as completely as possible. And list your level of confidence. We want to give a disclaimer here. You should never do what I'm about to do. I've been working with electrostatics for decades. We're doing this for illustrative purposes only, so we can get a better understanding of Leiden jars, electrostatics, and how they operate. Don't ever do this. In fact, if you ever see a Leiden jar, just stay away from it. Our typical student responses are, don't touch anything. Why in the world would you do that? And that's the best answer. Others will say, well, when you take the metal and put it on the ground, Maybe it'll discharge into this insulator. But the plastic, that won't matter anyhow. And most of them will feel that when you end up taking apart uh, a Leiden jar, you've essentially taken all the charges off it. And that's the answer that we normally get. All right, I've got the Van de Graaff generator pushed very close to the side of the table. I have my new Leiden jar that I'm gonna take apart in a moment here. It's connected to ground and it's ready to go. First thing I'll do is I'll turn on the Van de Graaff generator. Let's see if the Leiden jar is operating. If it is, it's probably gonna start snapping. Big, huge bolts. What I wanna do is shut off the Van de Graaff before that last bolt discharges. And then I can try and take it apart. All right, let's give this a whirl. So I'll turn on my Van de Graaff generator. I can hear it arcing to the side. And oh yeah, it's working very, very, very well indeed. shut it off right before it arcs. I want it to build up without arcing. Okay, I'll try to separate this, pull this over to the side, and now I'll take off the ground wire. Let's see if this works. Very good. I'm going to discharge my Van de Graaff generator, so I don't have to worry about that. Now I'm going to see if I can disassemble this. Pull this apart slowly, and I'll put this over here. Now, this is the tricky part. It likes to get stuck on me, so I'll try it without that helper, but let's see if we can get these to separate. Oh, it did. It separated without an issue. Put that one all the way over here, and then I've got this last one. I'll just pick it up and put it over here. All right. Now our quiz asked, which of the three could I grab, if any? Well, I'm going to grab this one first, and I'm okay. I can also grab the plastic, and I'm okay. I can grab this other metal, and I'm okay. But this is the part that's a little bit scary. I'm going to put it back together. I'll just take this one. Put this in here. And now I'll come around and I'll lift this last piece and lower it in. And very gently put that in, slowly, slowly, slowly. 
and now it's in. Now, it looks like a Leiden jar that we shouldn't have to worry about, but we should. Let me show you. I'm going to drop one of the wires in right to the center here, right to the center, and then I'm going to take this next to it, and voila, it was still charged. How can that be? If you like what we're doing here at the Idealized Science Institute, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. All right, I have a Leiden jar here, and it's discharged. I'll take the wire off so I can talk about it. When I took this apart, and I grab any part of this metal, and the excess of charge go right into me and into the ground. This plastic piece is different, though. We'll put that to the side. When I grab this piece, any charges that were on here will simply go to ground. But this is an insulator. If I have charges on here, they can't move. They're stuck exactly where we put them. I'm only grabbing where my thumb and my finger is touching here. So when I put these back together, I still have charges on them. And when I end up reassembling, I have a charge capacitor. That's how that demonstration works. So what is the moral of the story? Never make assumptions when you're dealing with electricity. It can end up being deadly. Always, always assume everything's charged all the time. That's why I'm going to put a ground wire on here and keep it on here so it doesn't have the ability to get charged. All right, that's your quiz for today. Thank you for watching another Idealized Science Institute video. We are a nonprofit organization. If you like what you've seen, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want, leave a comment below. It's helpful to us. If you can financially support us, go to our website and hit the donate button. If you can't, simply by sharing these videos with other teachers and students in your life will be helpful. While at our website, you'll find that we have our Idealized Science Institute book that'll help you engage your students in dialogic discourse. There you'll also find we have a podcast where we break down educational research. We also have long form lessons if you're a teacher, you can watch these and go in the very next day and enact these. Along with this, we also have many other resources, including more quick quizzes. So thank you for watching, and we hope to see you in the next one.